Australia has unveiled a $34 million plan to help bring its koala population back from the brink. The government calls uh, koalas a national treasure and promises to spare no efforts to save the dwindling population. The Australian Koala Foundation estimates there may be as few as 43,000 koalas left in the wild. The figure is down from a population believed to number more than 10 million prior to European settlement in the continent in 1788. Habitat loss, dog attacks, car strikes, climate change and disease have taken their toll on one of Australia's most recognisable animals. Studies show a 26% decline in the koala population in New South Wales over the last 15 to 20 years. The state lists the species as vulnerable, while in other parts of the country they are effectively extinct. Under the 34 million US dollar plan, thousands of hectares will be set aside to preserve the marsupial's natural habitat. This is uh, by far the most comprehensive koala strategy in the nation, uh, definitely the strongest koala strategy in New South Wales. Uh, we know that there are around 36,000 koalas left in the state, but we don't know that for sure. Uh, this strategy, this policy will make sure that not only do we have the resources set aside for, for specially uh, ensuring these protected areas in New South Wales. Funds will also be used to tackle diseases ravaging koala populations, including chlamydia, which causes blindness, infertility and death in the species. Resources have also been earmarked for research and a new hospital to take care of sick and injured koalas. The move follows an independent report in late 2016 that recommended a clearer strategy to deal with the population decline. The koala bear was listed as vulnerable under the Environmental Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act in 2012 in Australia. The country wants to ensure it doesn't move any further down in this classification. Bureau Report, WEON.